Mark, right now, 25-year-old Chad Keller of New Carlisle is here at the Montgomery County Jail. His arrest was a little bit untraditional, and now Englewood police are sharing with us the video of it, how it all happened exclusively with Two News. The suspect was stopped in traffic in his vehicle trying to leave Walmart. A suspected shoplifter escapes security at the Inglewood Walmart and takes off in his black Chevy Cavalier, only to be caught in traffic at the store exit. Suspect ran from them. Uh, they called us. We did not have any crews in the immediate area. Englewood police couldn't get to the scene in time, and so the suspect turns north on Hoke Road, making his escape. Thinking he'd gotten away, the suspect continued driving. Little did he know he was being followed the whole way because at every major intersection, there was a camera. Using just a few of the 24 cameras mounted throughout the city of Inglewood, Sergeant Mike Lang starts his own chase from inside the police department. Lang directs a camera toward the suspect's car as he turns right onto Wenger Road, passing more cameras at Union and Taywood Roads. Along the way, his list of criminal charges is growing. Driving left of center, passing vehicles on two-lane roads where he can't. He about rear-ended a couple vehicles in the process, all because of his haste to get away. As he turns onto Main Street, the camera catches a glimpse of a police cruiser, which pulls up to make a stop. Inside, officers find 25-year-old Chad Keller of New Carlisle. They say Keller had a stack of stolen video games, a BB gun, and more possibly stolen merchandise. We're able to almost pursue him without him knowing he was being pursued. And for us, that's a great use of technology and something we try to do day in and day out. Keller is now facing charges of theft, criminal damaging, and a slew of traffic offenses that he's now facing because police were able to track him using those cameras. Inglewood police also tell me they believe he has done this before, and they're looking for more information on that. If you know anything, call your local police department. Reporting live at the Montgomery County Jail, I'm Holly Samuels, 2 News on your side.